Welcome to Invest, where we talk about investing, finance, and professional women. As the current time of 9 11 a.m. on the Eastern Time on November 25th on Friday. Hope you guys have a good Thanksgiving and also happy Black Friday to you as well. On the over crypto market, you can see that clearly across the spectrum, we're relatively flat and down at the moment. Um, and I will say this is applicable across all the coins. Uh, Bitcoin down about 1%, Ethereum close to 1.5% down at the moment. Altcoins is relatively flat to down as well, but obviously they're a little bit more price sensitive, down about 3% at the worst level. And on the media front, uh, just take a look at it together. Uh, you can see that today is a relatively flat day. It's also half a day. The equity market closes at 1 p.m. on the Eastern Time, um, relative to the 4 p.m. Eastern Time, that's typically. Um, on the overall index front, just flat, not really up or down. Oil is also just flat as well. So is the 10 year yields, uh, just hovering around 3.7. Obviously, relative to the um, weeks ago when we were 4.3% at one time, uh, it's definitely depreciated and simmered down a little bit more. And on the news front, just a lot, just more news around, obviously, the Black Friday, um, you know hedging reinforcing regurgitation news around what's going to be happening obviously um the consumer purchasing behavior um has uh, direct correlations to the price sensitivity of uh, of these consumer goods right and in addition to that we understand a lot of retailers um best buy you know target walmart's of the world um you know their guidance have been quite shaky right they have adjusted their outlook to be you know across the spectrum some are upwards some are just flat but you know i would say it's definitely you know more of a collective decline um expecting that the inflationary pressure will hinder um the purchase be purchasing behavior from consumers so now another uh conundrum that we're also seeing is um with a deep discount uh in this Black Friday sales, despite, you know, it's a more of a volume play, right? You're going to be seeing everybody, including their grandmother, want to buy a TV <laughs> or buy, I don't know, a polo jacket or something like that. <laughs> when Macy's on sales, everybody's going to want to uh, spend more. But people are definitely going to take that second look, right? Being more cautious about their spending behavior than historically. So um, we might see a kind of a treasuring order type of uh, behavior and also like reflecting that in the quants. Um, but we'll see how that goes, right? In the next coming CPI report and the FOMC meeting, we will ideally see what's the turnaround, what's the picture going forward. We are seeing that um, some um, people in the government are expecting that the rates hikes will start to depreciate. You know, we were doing the 75 basis point for the last four times, the four CPI reports, right? The four FOMC meetings where the where Jerome Powell mentioned the 75 basis point until we see some sort of a revival from the inflationary pressure front. And what's expecting going forward in December is should be 50 basis points. So that means we have made some incremental uh, improvement upon the rate heights. But we'll see, right? Um, so this today is uh, despite it's a shopping day, uh, a, joy, a joyful day. Um, and Black Friday is a great time to buy Christmas gifts for your, for your loved ones, which I will be looking out for. Um, but we'll see how that goes. On the other front, uh, you could see that uh, some news just are regurgitating around like FTX, obviously with the big collapse, some news like lingering around Twitter, things like that, but nothing really, you know, specified, even Kanye West uh, talking about, um, you know, some of the Kanye's uh, mannerism conduct uh, that Adidas is, seems like they're doing an investigation. It seems like just more supplement on their lawsuits to get more uh, evidentiary support or something like that on why the why the breakup happened in the first place. So um, before I dive into technical, let's just take a look at what happened with the whales. And I was looking at it. Uh, it, was, it was quite interesting, I would say. If you look into ARK Invest, uh, as of 24th, so technically yesterday was the, um, obviously nothing happened. But this is depicting on the 23rd. This seems like nothing happened uh, on that specific day. Like there was no changes at all uh, in their portfolio. They did not buy or sell 
at all, which is quite interesting. But relatively speaking, on the BlackRock front, uh, you could see that it was more of a buying day. It seems like they did a little bit more Thanksgiving shopping early on, um, ahead of the you know the holidays, I guess. But they did sell some. Uh, you could see that with respect to uh, Twitter. I think this is more driven by their uh, disappointment or the you know tactical nature of uh, the Twitter administrations under Elon Musk's uh, new management. But uh, across the spectrum, you could see that it's relatively more of a buy day on the closing day of Wednesday. So without wasting more time, let's just dive into technical respect to recording time of 9.16 a.m. on the Eastern time. And again, happy Thanksgiving and also happy Black Friday. Let me know in the comment section below, like, what do you guys think about buying this year? Um, I don't really know. I, 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 I'm still wondering and looking online. Um, so with respect to the daily, you can see that we're about to form a golden cross. So seeing some short term pump will be a very natural course of cadence. Um, you could see that we are about to r ramp up. But with respect to the, uh, you know, momentum on the RSI front, it is still quite stale. So you can see one, two, three, four heads um, that are forming as mountaintops are uh, rejecting the next level of support, which is 1250. So we have to see, right? So these are the levels if we ram run up, you know, and, you know, crypto runs on the momentum. It will go up 1250, 1450, 1650 based on the technical breakdown of the resistance, right? On the weekly, you can see that um, the peaks are even more prominent as well. One, two, three, four as well, right? So in the weekly, we are, you know, we will foresee, this is how the picture will play out just purely based on technical, right? We might run up a little bit more on a daily. On the weekly, um, as you get further and further and further out, we might see like a pump, you know, maybe levitating back up to like 1250 to 1450, somewhere in between, but come back down naturally at 1250, which is a relatively substantive resistance level. But until all of that, like kind of shaken off, right, let's just say that, you know, by the time we get to December, the CPI report looks good, the FOMC meeting comes out to be like, hey, you know what, the all the rates highs have been relatively positive or has been progressing. Um, now we're going to be doing 50 basis point. Uh, inflation pressure seems like it's contained. And all of a sudden, everybody's going to change their psychology and whales are going to start buying in. People are going to try to start chasing in. It's a relatively binary um, type of uh, uh, factor, knowing the fact that we've been suppressed for quite some time. So we will see some um, bullishness happening but remember there's a difference between a bull run in a bear market versus an actual uh, reversal of the overall market so with, that's something we have to look out for together on the bitcoin side of the equation 16500 uh, which is you know exactly where we have been trading for the last i would say like 48 hours so far we are still uh, lingering around like the you know this level but the next level of support based on the technical fund we are still clearly one two three four uh heads of mountains rejecting upwards but on the daily we are still looking relatively bullish you can see that we're crossing up right now but i think you know it's still a little bit delay because of the um, uh today's a holiday but i think as we get closer to um, this weekend, I, on Monday, we, sh we might see some bullishness, which I would not be surprised at all. But obviously, the FTX news and the just negative postmortem uh, about what happened um, is still like giving people a bad taste in their mouths. Um, so I think it will slowly be, you know, take time to re rejuvenate and you know recuperate from here, and then uh, slowly. Uh, ramp up because like the selling pressure was quite significant and it definitely scared a lot of people away um, and also with respect to this uh, liquidation that you see clearly on this red candle this is um, you know whale investors losing a ton of money right um, so it will take some time for the whales to also be driving the market upward going forward um, institutional investors are typically the market drivers uh, on to seeing the momentum going forward in comparisons to retail investors, which, you know, there is some, but like, you know, the whales definitely have more buying power and market power than us, right, obviously.
So appreciate you for joining me again. Um, I uh, hope you guys had a great Thanksgiving. I'm thankful for you guys for joining me every day. Um, uh, I'll be in Miami next week, so sh give me a shout if you are going to be in Miami for Art Basel. Um, uh, it's a full jam-packed week next week for me. Um, but Monday, I'm actually going to a Nets game, um, uh, Brooklyn Nets against the Magic. Uh, one of my friends, uh, she's inviting me. Uh, she has a box seat, so I'm looking forward to it. I've actually never been to the Barclays Center before in Brooklyn. I've always been to the MSG, obviously, uh, knowing the fact that that's closer to me. Um, but appreciate you. Have a good day and take care.